Hi there and welcome to exam revision. Today we're going to look at the summary of rocks. It's a really short uh, tutorial and before I start just remember to check out our website examrevision.ie or youtube.com forward slash examrevision if you would like to get some more of these uh, video tutorials and please please can you follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Okay so we're going to look at the summary of rocks and the very first Thing that you need to know is it is the different types of rocks there are three types of rocks and the first one is called igneous rocks the second one is called sedimentary and the third one are called metamorphic rocks Okay, so each of these three different types of rocks um, are made and formed very different. And each have different characteristics. And you need to know how they are formed and the different characteristics that each of these rock types have. So the first one we're going to look at is igneous rocks. And igneous rocks form when the magma cools and hardens at or beneath the Earth's surface. So it's when magma cools at or beneath the surface at or beneath the surface so you need to know examples of igneous rocks and the two examples I'm going to give you are granite and basalt. So granite and basalt. And you need to know in detail one of these rocks. Um, and the one we're going to look at is basalt. So basalt is formed when lava cools at the surface. So cools and hardens at the surface. surface. It contains quartzoid. Sorry, quartz, not quartzoid. It contains quartz. An example is the Giant's Causeway. It's dark in colour. And the last point, you need to know uh, a use of igneous rocks, and basalt is used in building materials and in road chippings. So the next one we're going to look at are sedimentary rocks. And sedimentary rocks are formed by the process of weathering and erosion. And what happens is the rock is broken down, transported along, and deposited as sediments on the beds of lakes and seas. And over millions of years, these rocks, are, these materials are compressed into layers and they form sedimentary rocks. So, formed because of the process, the processes of weathering and erosion. So the material is broken down, transported, and deposited all these sediments on the beds of the lake and seas. And all the sediments are compressed into layers called into layers and over time these form sedimentary rocks. One thing to know about sedimentary rocks is that it can actually be subdivided into organic rocks and inorganic rocks. An example of an organic, organic rock would be limestone and an example of an inorganic rock would be sandstone. 
Now that's a little bit more advanced uh, for the junior cert, but it's just good to know and um, because you will learn that in leaving cert. So you need to know just like you learned for igneous, you learned the basalt, you need to know one rock type that is sedimentary. And the one that we're going to look at is limestone. So like I said, limestone is an organic sedimentary rock. The second point about limestone, uh, it was formed millions of years ago from the remains of compressed sea creatures which lay, were laid down in layers. It's white or grey in colour, so white or grey in colour. It's a permeable rock. So permeable means water can pass down through it. If it's impermeable, it means water cannot get down through it. So this is the permeable rock, so water can um, pass down through the rock and uh, seep down through it. It can it may contain fossils. So it may contain fossils. You find limestone in the Burren in County Clare, where you find many amazing features and landforms that is created because of limestone pavement. What's it used for? Well, limestone is used for building material. Limestone is used for cement and sometimes limestone is converted into lime to use as a fertilizer. So that's it for sedimentary rocks. Then now we're going to look at metamorphic rocks. So the last one we're going to look at is metamorphic rocks and metamorphic rocks were once igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks. So in the past they were either igneous or sedimentary, but because of great heat or pressure, or maybe both, they actually changed into new rocks. An example we have are marble and quartzite. So I'll just write a few points here. So metamorphic rocks were once igneous. Or sedimentary rocks. And this is the important part. They changed because of great heat or pressure. Great heat or pressure. And an example that you can have is marble or quartzite, and we're going to look at marble. So, marble is a metamorphic rock, and it was formed from limestone. So, from limestone. It's used um, in fireplaces and in ornaments. So it's used in fireplaces. So the mound around the fireplace, around the fire. It's usually marble. It, it's usually white in colour. But it can also be in green, red, or black. And we find marble in Connemara, Connemara in County Galway. Okay, so that's it that you really know to, you, need, you need to know for the summary of rocks. Just a point to, to, to note that rocks 
are resources, okay? And fossil fuels such as coal, oil, gas, and peat are also resources. And usually oil and gas are brought ashore by offshore drilling and then pumped ashore by pipeline. If the resources are uh, quite close to, to the surface, such as sand, gravel, or peat, then you might have open cast mining or quarrying. And sometimes we use shaft mining as used when the resource lies beneath the surface. An example of this would be lead. Okay, now that is in, in the in the junior sec uh, past exam papers. The questions haven't really talked too much about rocks as, as a resource, but just to 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 note that the questions that comes up if you get a question on rocks will be on the the type the three types of rocks, how they were formed, and you need to know one for each type. So for igneous, you got basalt. If for sedimentary, you got limestone, and for metamorphic, you got marble. And you need to know like how how each of them are formed the colours, their characteristics, where you find them in Ireland and what you would actually use them for. So that's it for my summary of rocks. If you enjoyed my video, can you please uh, give it a like on the YouTube channel? And um, Can you subscribe also to my YouTube channel? Please, I'd really appreciate um, as many subscribers as possible. And please do follow us on Twitter and Instagram where we post a lot uh, more frequently and you can get all the latest hints, tips and updates.